Even. So we ought to support such men that we may be fellow workers in the truth. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. He said, In a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor regarded man. There was a widow in that city who kept coming to him and saying, Vindicate me against, against my adversary. For a while he refused, but afterward he said to himself, Though I neither fear God nor regard man, yet because this widow bothers me, I will vindicate her, or she will wear me out by her continual coming. And the Lord said, Hear what the unrighteous judge says. And will not God vindicate his elect, who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long over them? I tell you, he will vindicate them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 
So we've looked at this scene uh, recently, but it's good to kind of come back around to it. And as the church moves towards the end of ordinary time, so always the, the view of the readings turns to the final coming of Christ, the expectation of Christ. And that expectation of his coming in glory is then how we then move into Advent and prepare for his coming in the flesh, the coming of Christ in the incarnation, because the two are so inter intricately tied together. And so we look towards the end, and the Lord is turning to his disciples. He's already spoken to them about the coming of justice, and now he speaks to them about that necessity of perseverance in prayer. And what we've said before is the power of that persevering prayer, which is that what happens is that this woman is able to draw from a judge who is unjust, justice. So by her persevering prayer, she's able to draw this justice from an unjust judge who doesn't love God and doesn't love his fellow man. And so what St. Augustine says is, how much more will we gain then from Christ, who is love, who is mercy, when we pray with perseverance in his presence, when we come to the judge and petition him? He is not worn out as this judge is by our constant coming to him. Rather, that is what he desires. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy burdened, and I will give, give you rest. This is the judge that we come into the presence of when we come into the presence of the Blessed Sacrament, when we kneel at his feet, and when we make our petitions for his mercy. Then the God who is love and mercy and who is present to us pours out his mercy and his love and his grace is upon us. What he wants in our heart is faith, is that we come to him in faith. That is one of the reasons that St. Peter Julian Amard says and the church says that the Lord veils himself in the Blessed Sacrament because it requires faith then to believe in his presence. And faith is what is precious to God. Not a dead faith, but a living faith. And what's the difference between dead faith and living faith? Well, it is either the presence or the absence of love. If there is love, it is living faith. If there is no love, as St. Paul says, even if I have all the faith so as to move mountains, I am nothing, I am nothing. And so we are called not to have a dead faith, but a living faith. As the scriptures say, even the demons believe and tremble, but they have no love. So their faith or their belief cannot save them. And so for us, we need a faith that is animated by love. That's what the Lord looks into us for, is what he's searching out in our hearts, is to look for this small movement of faith and love in us, and that's what he desires. He expresses that desire at the end of the gospel today when he says, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? And it is specifically that living faith that he longs to find. And I would say, so long as there are people who are adoring him in his presence, the answer to that question is yes. Yes. If there are people who are adoring the Lord in the Blessed Sacrament, then the answer to that question is yes. When he comes again, will he find faith on earth? Yes. So long as that persevering prayer continues in his presence, which is why it is such an encouragement here and just a com commendation to the sisters as well as they keep this perpetual chain of adoration going. This is so fundamentally important for the church and for her work. And for the fact that in terms of spreading faith, there is nothing more powerful than coming and petitioning this God of mercy, this God of love, and drawing from this God of mercy and love all the graces that we can by coming to him in faith and in love. And so what happens here in this church is what we are called to participate in, to come to the Lord in adoration, to be with him in his presence, and to petition this merciful, loving judge, not only for our own needs, but for the needs of the world, for the needs of those who don't even know that they need to pray, for those who do not yet know God, for those in all of the different difficult situations that we encounter people in. Life is difficult. Life is hard. There is always suffering. And so just as there is always suffering in this world, there should always be those who petition the God of mercy that he alleviates suffering. And so today, especially as we kind of read through this gospel, as we hear from the Lord his desire that he find faith on earth, whenever he looks out from the blessed sacrament and he sees those who kneel in prayer before him, he finds it. And that is a consolation to his heart 
but it is also a great source of grace for this world and its suffering. Amen.